I'm currently at Walworth Hall. So welcome to West Country Wanderings at Walworth Hall, which is at Twigworth, just about three miles north of the city of Gloucester. Come to look at nature in art and this fabulous building in the gardens that surround it. Walworth Hall was built in the 1700s, I'll drop the exact date below, 37 years ago. The Nature and Art Museum opened here, which is a working and living display of artists that paint nature in all its surroundings, in terms of flowers and animals and landscape. And it's a fabulous collection. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film, as you can imagine, because of copyright issues the pieces of art inside but uh, are well worth uh, coming to see it. They also have their own YouTube channel which I'll drop a link in below. Due to COVID-19 and obviously the uh, museum, the artworks no longer being on display during the period of time of the, the three lockdowns we've had in the UK, they've obviously been struggling with funds and uh, to help uh, boost their funds again they're running an online auction which uh, goes on to the end of August and you can view pieces on their website and put in bids for them which have been kindly donated by various artists right across the world. They also include pieces by Sir Peter Scott. Remember, we've mentioned him before, the gentleman that opened the um, Wildlife and Wetlands Trust at Slimbridge and various other sites throughout the UK now. He's only did five etchings in his entire life, and two of them are on display here at the museum. They're fabulous. Uh, the one I liked particularly was the pintails flying above the reed beds at Slimbridge. Uh, fantastic piece. The other one was of uh, Canada geese. One of the artists in residence is a gentleman called Anthony Bird, and he will actually be here, I think, about three times uh, later in August. And uh, again, I'll put up links for that. He does fantastic paintings of things like lions and tigers and birds in the landscape. One that particularly impressed me was a uh, lion that would have been scarred on its face. You'd think it was actually done in the wilds of African Plain, in Kenya perhaps, but it was actually painted at Longleat, just down the way here in the West Country Wanderings country in Wiltshire.
So from Walworth Hall and Nature in Art at Twigworth here to the north of Gloucester, bid you goodbye on this short part here on West Country Wanderings. If you hit the bell and subscribe, then YouTube will notify you when the next video uploads, which will be coming up very soon. Take care of yourselves. Until then, all the best. Cheers now. Bye-bye.